Hello and welcome to Little Learners. In today's video we're going to be talking about how to introduce fractions to young children. Before we get started, don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already so that you can see more videos just like this. Let's get started. So one of the first things that you want to do when you're talking about fractions with children is address misconceptions. Now I think the best thing to do is start with a half and talk about halving things. One of the biggest misconceptions with halving things is that you can have a bigger half. You hear people say this all the time, they are cutting a cake or something and they'll say, oh, I'll have the bigger half or, oh, that's not fair, she got the bigger half. So it's important to talk about that and that actually when we're talking about fractions, there is no bigger half. The two halves have to be equal. I think one of the best ways to demonstrate this is to either have a cake or a pizza on the board. You don't have to have it necessarily right in front of you and to slice it in half. Now, first of all, I would show the children the pizza, for example, cut in two pieces but not even halves so that there is a bigger half and talk about that misconception and ask them if it's fair. I think asking about if something is fair is a really good way to contextualise it for children because they know that whoever's getting that smaller piece that is not fair because the other person gets the bigger piece. Then you can talk about cutting it directly in the middle and how the pieces are equal and that is fair so that is two halves so we've got one half of the pizza here and one half of the pizza here and we're cutting it in two. Make sure that children are then aware that if we are cutting something in half or if we are halving something there are going to be two of them so either two pieces or two groups. Once you have been looking at a whole and then two equal halves you can start looking at halving quantities. Now one of the best ways I find to do this is using a sharing activity so again you can do this on the board or you could do it physically you just need two plates and then let's go with cupcakes for example. So if we have eight cupcakes we want to share them equally between the two plates and usually I will ask one child to come and stand up next to the board and stand next to one of the plates so that it is their plate and then I've got the other one. So first of all I will just put some cakes on the plates, I'll give myself more, I'll ask the children if that's fair and they'll say no and so we'll start again. Then I will use the one for me, one for you method which I always find works so well with children, they get it really quickly. So one for me, one for you and I get them to say that with me, one for me, one for you to make sure that we're giving one to each person equally until there aren't any left then we count up how many are on the plates and see if that's the same number so i have four you have four is that fair great then we can talk about how four is half of eight and we know that because we've shared it between two people so you can then do this with lots of different quantities, you can do it with different objects and in your provision in the classroom you'll have some sharing activities. It's lovely when you hear children in the classroom go off in pairs and you can hear them saying one for me, one for you. So important to first of all establish how many you have all together and then once you've shared them equally what each half is. So four is half of eight. Now after all of that, which of course is a lot to cover, you won't necessarily be doing everything in this video in one session, but once you've done that you can look at the actual fraction, what it looks like. So one over two, and we talk about how one half is two pieces. So then if we have one half and one other half that makes one whole. Of course in this video I'm going through a lot of this very quickly but you'll be giving a lot of attention to this and be repeating and going over all of these skills to make sure that children really understand, nip any of those misconceptions in the bud. So definitely the concept of sharing is really important and something that children can contextualise, talking about if the quantities are fair, something that they can understand, because really for them fractions are a very abstract concept so we have to really bring it to something that they can relate to. Eventually once children are confident in one half you've talked about halving objects and halving quantities, they're confident in that, they've gained that skill, you can start looking at other fractions such as one quarter and one third. Look at what those fractions actually look like, talk about what we know about one half and how can we apply that knowledge to one quarter and one third and then you can start repeating some of those activities that I've spoken about for those other fractions. So I hope this video has been helpful to give you some ideas of how to start introducing fractions to children in the classroom. 
There are lots of fun activities you can be doing with the children in your provision. If you have any other ideas of how best to talk about fractions, start talking about fractions, introduce the whole concept, then let me know in the comments below so that we can all share with each other. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like as it really helps out the channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.